My name is Best, Trev Best, Private Eye. Episode 1, The Seductive Swedish Secretary. I walked through the smoky haze on my way to work. Even at this early hour, the streets were bustling with various vagabonds, tinkers and gypsies going about their lawful business. Vegetables for sale! Vegetables for sale! The recession was biting hard, and being unable to afford supermarket rates, I was tempted. What vegetables do you have for sale, old crone? I inquired politely. Yams! I sell yams! Very affordable yams, actually, considering the market. And before you go all bitter and melodramatic about the price, just keep in mind that I'm little more than a humble yam vendor with absolutely no hidden agenda and a family to feed. So do you want secret underground black market yams or not? I hadn't eaten a fresh yam in hours, so the temptation was irresistible. Very well, wandering yam vendor. I shall purchase your yams, regardless of the price, and in a reckless and cavalier manner. So do you like a yam, do you? I might have a yam here for the more discerning customer. What do you mean? I do enjoy a yam, but what are you implying? What about a yam that has been grown in the most fertile of field, fed fondly upon magical miracles and marvellous materials to form a vegetable of significant girth and viscosity? Would that interest you? Actually, yes, that would interest me. Very good, sir. Sorry, all out. So this conversation has been a complete waste of time, then? Well, that depends on your point of view. Really? How's that? Okay, admittedly you don't get any magical, mystical yams, but you do get a potential plot element for a future episode. I had to admit the old hag was correct, so I left Yamless and continued my journey to the office. Upon arriving at the office, I was stunned to discover the place was still shut. Usually my faithful secretary, Mrs. Old, would have opened up, put the kettle on, and made scones by now. Possibly cheese ones. Something very strange was going on. I opened up and went inside. <coughs> After using my detective skills to look around, I discovered a letter attached to a desk. It was from Mrs. O, and said, Dear Mr. Best, it has been the highlights of my working career being with you these last few months. Sadly, all good things must come to an end. I have been diagnosed with a medical condition the doctors call chronic death. Unfortunately, it is reasonably serious, and I shall no longer be able to continue working for you. Please find enclosed a web address for a company that hires secretaries, as I can't stand the thought of you trying to bake scones on your own, not after the warning the fireman gave you last time you tried. Yours faithfully, Mrs. Old. After fighting with various empty cups and overdue tax forms, I was able to access my trusty Pentium 486 to log onto the internet at a blistering 14.4k speed. I pushed the button and activated the machine. Sounds of beeps and whirs filled the air like an obsolete air raid siren. Green numbers and letters appeared on the screen. A bit of a flickering there. Yeah, good old cathode ray tubes, can't beat them. Pretty good. Oh, hang on. I've got to put in the floppy disk with the modem driver on it. Ah, there it is. Okay. Uh, here we go. HTTP forward slash colon www.secretaryforhire.co.nz forward slash intro one dot html Yep, seems basic enough. Enter. 
began to download instantly. I took the opportunity to go to the pub for the next two days while it did its thing. Eventually, I returned to the office. Just in time for another beer. Oh, look, there's one. How convenient. Um, right. Oh, finished already. Perfect timing as usual. Right. I want a secretary that can bake scones, make tea, and answer the phones. Sign Trev Best, proprietor, Best Executive Agency, enter. Oh, come on, what's this? Please refine search. Okay, uh, tall, blonde, Swedish, uh, what else? Nudist. Enter. Crikey, that was quick. What an amazing age we live in. Is this number 486 Dingley Dell? Yes, it is. Why, I am Olaf, your new secretary. Glancing into the blinding light of the misty Manawatu morning, the statuesque Swede certainly seemed to meet my requirements. Please come in. My name's Best. Trev Best. Private Eye. Good evening, Mr. Best. A loaf at your service. What needs do you require? To my horror, I discovered my svelte Scandinavian secretary was actually a massive muscle man with a moustache. Clearly I had been taken advantage of by the New Zealand employment law and did my best to back out of it. Look here. I'm sorry, I, I can't remember your name. Olaf. Look here, Olaf. There's been some kind of terrible mistake. What seems to be the problem? Am I too white? Is it my moustache? No job's too big. Okay, look, it's not your fault. I can see you're a good keen man, but it's obvious you're not private eye secretary material. Can you make scones, for example? Oh, yes. I can whip up a cup of tea in no time. Look what I found hiding in my briefcase. It happens to be two cheese scones filled with fresh cream and raspberry jam. Look, fresh cream and raspberry jam on cheese scones. Look, this this is it's not gonna work out. Look, it's not your fault. I'm clearly a victim of the wonders of this new high tech age, and I'll be posting in positions available ads and situations vacant section of a legitimate newspaper in the future. No need to worry, Mr. Best. I will ensure your operations run smoothly and that you are protected at all times. So the protection, mate. It's the scone issue I'm concerned about. Look, can you make a simple plain scone or not? I can create the upside down scone. Special one of the hidden recipes in scone making. Now then, when do we start cracking codes or solving mysteries? This wasn't a good start. It looked like I might be stuck with him. I probed deeper into his skill set. Fair enough. Scones are an important secretarial skill, but can you answer the phone with your harsh guttural accent? Actually, good scones, by the way. Nice and flowery. I don't want clients being put off by your indecipherable foreign voice. So let's see you answer the phone. Hello, Best Detective Agency, a laugh speaking. Yes, actually I am Swedish. Yes, I know I don't sound Swedish over the phone. That's because my boss told me not to. Oh, really? Oh, dear. That's no good. Oh, no. Oh, the poor dear. Oh, well, I hope it works out with Deirdre's leg. Okay, goodbye. Wrong number, boss. Damn it! Very well. 
I can't think of a reason to sack you on the spot, so I shall go into my special boss's area. Let me know if something important comes up with the intercom. You can use an intercom, can't you? Oh yes, I can use the intercom very well, thank you. Yes, I thought you might. I wandered into my special boss's area and shut the door behind me. I took the opportunity to ponder my predicament. Will I ever be rid of this subversive Scandinavian charlatan of a secretary? I'll have to find out next week.